close your eyes, and be sensitive to your breath. Notice when it's coming in, when it's going out. Notice how it feels. You can try a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths to start with. And if long breathing feels good, keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. That's the good part of concentration practice, is you're trying to find an object that you like to be with. Because you're trying to get the mind centered here in the present moment, so you can see what's going on. And so it has the strength it needs to deal with what's going on. We live in a difficult world. And our minds are difficult things as well. After all, what is it that makes the world difficult? It's the human mind. Lots of human minds in conflict, both inside themselves and with one another. And so we're bound to get pushed around a lot. So what are you going to do? You push back and it just keeps coming around and around and around. Instead you look inside and say, where is my mind weak inside? Why do I have to depend on things outside so much? If I had strength inside, I, there's a lot that I can do and not have to be disturbed by other people and not have to disturb them. So we look inside to find sources of strength, and getting the mind concentrated is one of them. It's based on the conviction that your actions will make a difference. And where do your actions come from? They come from the mind. So you have to get to know your mind really well. And then you make an effort. Try to do your best. Whatever situation you're in, do what's skillful, say what's skillful, think what's skillful. Make that effort. Anything that's unskillful, you say, I don't need to touch that. That's not anywhere I want to go. Then, of course, to know what's skillful, you have to be mindful. To remember what you've learned about mistakes you've made in the past and also the good things you've done in the past. Because you learn to recognize when it, greed comes up, you know it's going to take you to a bad place. Anger comes up, it's going to take you to a bad place. Delusion comes up, you don't know what you're doing. You have to learn how to recognize these states as they come. So you, once you recognize them, then you know what to do. All these things help to firm up your concentration. And then your concentration enables you to see things clearly, see what's going on inside. Why is it that the mind wants happiness and yet it does things that lead to suffering? It does things that lead to stress, things that weigh the mind down. Why is that? As long as you don't understand that, you don't really understand your own mind. And as the Johns keeps saying, the mind tends to lie to itself. It decides it wants something and it turns a blind eye to all the harm that it can cause as it tries to get that. So it gives some vision to your eyes. So you can see the ways in which you've been looking for happiness have been unskillful, and you can learn how to stop. And you have the strength, and you have the strength of concentration inside, which has, gives you a sense of well-being. You're here with the breath, breathing easily. Breathing in a way that nourishes the body, nourishes the mind. And that gives you the strength to withstand the desire to go for the quick fix. Because everything we do is for happiness. One of the reasons we end up with suffering, though, is we don't think about the long term. We're focusing only on the short term. What would feel good right now? What do I feel like doing right now? Without thinking about the consequences. But one of your best forms of protection is just that ability to think about the consequences and to be determined that you're not going to do anything that will lead to long-term suffering, long-term stress. You may have to put up with some pain and, and stress as you develop these good qualities in the mind. It's not always going to be easy. But for the long term, it leads to happiness. You want to keep your sights on the long term. So gather your mind at the breath. Give it a place where it feels good inside. And learn how to maintain that as you go through the day. That will give you the strength you need in order to do what you know is right. That's one of the sad things, is we know what's right and wrong. But sometimes we don't feel like doing what's right, or we don't have the strength to do what's right. In which case our knowledge doesn't really help us. You need to strengthen the mind so that it is willing to do what's right, no matter how difficult it may be. So strengthen the mind with concentration, strengthen it with the breath. 
strengthen it by finding a place of peace inside. And that can be your gift not only to yourself, but also to the world around you.